Hey, I am Elsa Ray, and today I have painted another wall. This time I have gone with a geometric style. I used a ton of tape, a ton of paint, and I put it all together in a DIY for you. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know that I have been doodling a lot lately, especially a lot of this design. This design I originally saw on Reddit. It was titled Zen Doodle. I don't know who the artist is, but if I find it, I will put it in the description box. It's actually a very simple doodle. Start off with a square and pick a corner. Draw a line from that corner to the next corner, but a little bit past, just as I'm doing here. Now from where that point ended, draw a line to the next corner, but a little bit past that corner. And just keep going around and around and around your square, and it will kind of turn into a geometric spiral. If you don't know how to draw straight lines, that's okay. This is the perfect thing to practice with. Now for my wall, I wanted these kind of fan shapes. So I draw another square right next to the original, and I keep going, but in the opposite way, starting right up next to the edge of the first square. And there is the fan. I'm gonna make another fan below, doing the same concept, and another fan on the last corner. Really, it's as simple as that, and it looks super complicated. I like designs that look complicated, but are really simple. So I start by taping up my walls. This took me, really, actually only a couple hours. I think I'm using a three quarter inch tape, just a regular painter's masking tape. And I then grab a spoon, and with the spoon, I am just trying to push the edges of the tape down so that there aren't any bubbles. But with this much tape, it was really hard to get every single edge, so there are some bubbles that end up in the end. And next, I start painting. I had originally put some black in some of the sections of the fans, but turned out I didn't need that. The actual process was filling each of the outer part of the fans with white, then taking the dark gray and blending that into the white to create a sort of gradient for when I take the tape off. I let it dry for 24 hours and was finally left to do the best part. That's all you get due to copyright. And that is the finished wall paint. Let me know if you tried this on your walls. I'd love to see some pictures. Follow me on all my social media accounts. They are listed below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.